Gamers, it's Teo Shante Plans, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be memory planning the week of August 29th to September 4th using the Strawberry Fields kit from Two Little Bees. And as you can see, I am missing quite a few stickers from this kit. I'm using a leftover sticker kit from this week. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do memory planning, which is essentially a form of almost like scrapbooking my weeks. Um, I have a functional planner that I don't decorate with stickers. I just write in it and use it to keep track of my plans. And then I have this planner, which is the Sadie Stickers B6 planner that I use decoratively to um, just scrapbook and memory plan my weeks. So this is my April monthly spread. And this is where I first used this kit, which is why I was missing so many stickers, including the bottom washi, which I used in this spread. So I had to pull in some um, creative ideas and I used the washi strips from Paper Trail Plans to create my own bottom washi, which absolutely saved me. It was the perfect shade of pink and matched this kit so beautifully. And then I also had one of their metal washi strips that was gold foiled and I felt like it really picked up on the theme of this kit and I thought it paired really nicely. So I was able to go ahead and create my own bottom washi which was a lot of fun. And I feel like I did this in a really simple way. I don't feel like this is complicated because I've done my own like custom bottom washi before where I've mixed in like clip art and it, it was like a lot of layering and all of that stuff. But what I loved about this one was this was really just very clean and simple and I, and I think very beginner friendly. If you're new to planning, that's definitely um, a technique you could incorporate into your planning style really easily. Um, and so once I've got my bottom washi done, I'm moving up into the date cover deck area in which we're going to get into probably a little bit more of that advanced layering that I was just talking about uh, and I had so much fun with this. I knew I wanted to pull in a lot of butterflies in the deco at the top of this. There were butterflies so many butterflies in this kit and I really wanted to pick up on that and play up on it because I love butterflies and so I have a lot in my collection including on my Sadie stickers freebie which you'll see me using throughout this spread quite a bit because I just had so many great um, butterfly themed stickers on that freebie. As I'm going into the decorating the date cover deco area I really wanted to pull in some colorful scallop thin strips and there were scallops on these label sticker boxes that I was like you know what if I cut off just the colorful scallop part I can use that as the trim and it'll give me exactly the look I'm wanting in the top because I wanted a, a scalloped line going across there but I didn't want it to be foiled and so that was the only way I the only sticker I had that was going to give me that look in color and it looked so beautiful and then I finished off by trimming that with this um, foiled washi trim from Sadie stickers that has that dotted line design that I just think is so chic and fabulous and just gives such a perfect finishing touch to that area as I got over to this side I was really having fun with this one and I went with like a full symmetrical spread so um, I centered that scallop circle from the kit added two butterflies on the side of it and then put the florals in the corner and then I'm doing very symmetrical um, line design with the little green scallops um, and again I took another one of those label boxes and just cut off the scallop part of it and then I realized I had these butterflies from Paper Trail Plants this was their butterfly sampler oh my gosh the trail of butterflies just looks so good this is one of my favorite butterfly stickers that I've ever used. It's so gorgeous. So I had a ton of fun creating the date cover deco section and just playing around with all those different butterflies. And then I'm starting to put down my full boxes. Going back to my Sadie stickers freebie, I have this gorgeous header that is a, like a butterfly themed header and it's scalloped and it's lacy and it's so pretty and so I put that on top of all of my full boxes and I'm actually going to use five full boxes in this spread which is the most I've used in a spread so far in one of my b6 spreads so I have my three and um throughout the week and then I put two full boxes in the sidebar because I could not not use that full box with the um little fashion doll girl I thought she was absolutely adorable and then in the space in between because there wasn't too much room to do much else and I, I knew I wanted to use it decoratively I just decided to pull in some of the clip art with that strawberry pie and then some more of those butterflies add in some florals and I thought that came together in just a really fun decorative way 
and I'm gonna go ahead and place the month script at the top of that full box. That's something I did, I think like one or two spreads ago where I put my uh, month section on top of a full box and found that I really liked that a lot for my sidebar. So that may be popping up in my planning style every now and again. Moving into our day by day, we are starting with Monday and I put down a header to use as a background for the date cover. And I'm using a date script from Paper Trail Plans and I use their abbreviated date scripts, which have become like my new favorite date scripts from them. Um, the like full words are cute too, but the abbreviated ones are just so little and cute and petite, it's adorable. <laughs> and then I had butterfly date dots from Sadie stickers that I used. I marked that I needed to approve my time card with some layered boxes, one of those boxes being from the Gathered Layers collection from uh, Panda Bird Design and, and Gathered Plants. <laughs> literally a name I could never forget that's Ray who's my bestie um, and then I marked that I was editing a plan with me and then this divider that I'm using to separate Monday and Tuesday in this column this is the traditional bow divider from two little bees and it's kind of a classic thing that even through all of her kit reformats she's kept which I love so much I think it's so signature to her shop and I love that about it and then I layered these gorgeous garlands from Sadie stickers behind it and that extra pop of foil just really made me fall in love with that divider because I think the combination of the bold colors that bold um, bow which is it's just the it feels very very bold and then the dainty garlands behind it is the perfect like contrast in like visual weight between those two things and it looks so good one of my favorite parts of this spread um, and then I used just some of the clip art to mark that it was Tuesday. Um, I marked that I was working on um, ordering samples of new products for Ray and Tay. Super exciting. Um, so yeah, we, we are hard at work in production and like I, I um, can't wait till like you guys get to like see everything we're working on. It's it's one of those things where it's like it's a process because none of this happens as quickly as I would like it to and so but you guys get to go along for for the full process and journey with us which I think is really awesome because you get to see how hard we're working in our planners as, as we're posting everything <laughs> that we're working on then I was just doing some of my regular PR posts for two dollar Tuesday um, and then on to Wednesday and because I put down the header as the background on Monday, I thought about putting a header in the background for marking Wednesday and realized, no, I kind of want to alternate that so that going across the columns, um, it goes from like header to non-header, header to non-header. And you'll see that pattern emerge as we get to Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, which are at the tops of um, the remaining columns that need to be done. So working my way down on Wednesday, I marked that it was month end at work. Um, and then we bought a gift for, um, Alicia's birthday which was coming up the following week um, and oh what I tell you um, Alicia Alicia who is Alicia from Sadie stickers who has just been like so amazing so helpful so wonderful um, and when I tell you Ray and I would not have been able to get Ray and Tay going or, or get our whole life together without help from Alicia from Sadie Stickers and Jess from Panda Bird Design. They were both just like so helpful, encouraging, supportive, and gave us a lot of information as we were getting started. I love them both so much and um, and definitely wanted to celebrate her birthday. Happy birthday, Alicia, um, in case she's watching. Um, and then I filmed my first autumn haul. Oh, I had a bunch of stickers and orders that had come in and was so excited to film that haul and it is on my channel if you haven't had a chance to see that you can check that out and see what I will be using upcoming soon because and probably even some of the things that were in the haul are probably being used in this plan with me um and then moving on to Thursday which I started again with that header to mark the Thursday um and so you can see that and then I marked that my dad bought an iPad good lord help me Okay, so <laughs> adventures in in taste, parents, and technology. Um, so my dad buys an iPad, and my mom calls me on her phone so that I can help walk my dad through setting up this iPad. And it, for anyone who's ever helped their parents do anything with technology, you already know where this is going. It, it's not good. It's it's never good because it, like the it, but the comedy and the hilariousness <laughs> I laughed 
so hard. Oh my goodness, my my poor dad. Um, so the first thing it asked him to do was it wanted to get his thumbprint so that um he so that he would be able to open the iPad. And so it's telling him put your thumb on the home key so that it can scan his finger. And and I'm going, Mom, point point the camera. I need to be able to see because my dad's going, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, I, I need to be able to, Mom, I don't, don't point the camera at Dad's head. I don't need to see him. I need to see the iPad. Can you point the phone at the iPad? So she points the phone down, and he's placing his finger on the screen, not where, where there's a picture of the thumbprint, instead of on the home key. And I'm just like, oh, God, this is going to be a long day. So then we go through that. Then I, I kid you not, it, it um, we got to the part where he needed to put in his credit card, and it they had the pop-up on the screen where it just needed to scan his credit card with the camera. And so it gives you a little square so that you can line up your card within it. He placed his credit card on top of the screen inside of the square and was like, here. <laughs> I was like, Dad, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> just like, oh, I love him. I love him so, so precious. And then it got to the part where it was trying to teach him how to use Siri. And I swear to you, if you've seen that Kevin Hart stand up where his dad was trying to use Siri and calling it Cyrus, I, I thought he was exaggerating until I watched my father read the instructions which said, say hi, Siri. And without, uh, without missing a beat, my dad goes, say, hey, Siri, who is Siri, sir? I lost it. I laughed so hard. I turned red. Um, my mother was like, babe, <laughs> stop laughing at your father. <laughs> I was like, I would if I could, but I can't. Um, so yeah, that was, that was fun. Good times. I have talked all the way through like Thursday and Friday. Um, let's see if I can get caught up here. Okay, so Friday was Sadie Sticker's birthday sale. Oh, we bought tickets to go to the Galentine's Planner Meetup that's going to be the first weekend in February, which is one of the most exciting things that is going to happen next year. Um, one, because I haven't been to a planner meetup in quite some time, but most, most importantly, Ray and I are finally going to actually get a chance to meet in person. We are going to this planner meetup and I am so excited. I have no words. Um, for those who don't know, Ray, who is my business partner and Ray and Tay, we met on Instagram. We became friends through social media. We became besties who talk and FaceTime. We see each other all the time. We talk to each other all the time and we talk to each other outside of planning. Our, our friendship really grew outside of the planner community, which was why we were able to um, grow and develop to the point where we were comfortable creating a whole business together. But we actually haven't met in person yet, which is the craziest thing in the world. And it's one of the things that, you know, because of the pandemic, we were definitely hindered. And so we were, were really wanting to be like, okay, we've, we've got to figure this out. And we live on opposite sides of the country. So um, it was, it's not like, just like, hey, let's go across town and let's meet up. It, it takes a little bit. So I'm super excited. I literally cannot wait. And so looking forward to this. It's going to be such a fun weekend. And, and I'm super excited. So we got our tickets for that cannot wait for that um then saturday was just a lot of taking care of some errands purchased some skincare um sunday I uploaded a plan with me we were having a heat wave oh my god that was terrible um and then just enjoyed watching master chef and enjoying some dinner with b and that finishes off this week Thank you all so much for watching this plan with me. I had so much fun with this and planning, utilizing my leftover stickers. And I thought this came together so beautifully considering I wasn't even using a full kit to begin with. So I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next video. Bye.